Maybe one Brian here. Gonna have a quick chat about our stay here and talk a bit about the Pangolin Chubby Hotel. It's our second day here. We got in yesterday around midday, went out for a boat safari on the Chobe River. Went out again this morning. We'll be going out on the Chobe again this afternoon. Uh, Chobe. Hey there folks. Brian here. As you can see, I had to cut that uh, other video short. You can see some distracting lights in the background. Could be dangerous to some people as well. All well, that blinking, did a walkthrough video as well which picked up that, something to do with the GoPro settings which I think I've sorted out now but a bit late because I couldn't see it during the uh, during the video. So yeah, had to cut that one out. I'll throw up some pictures as I'm talking of the Pangolin, uh, the Pangolin Chobe Hotel and, uh, and you'll be able to see, you know, the interior and our room and things like that as well. Okay, there's a couple of magpie geese just took off over there making a racket but the Pangolin Chobe Hotel was I think opened around 2019 we were in Chobe with the Pangolin team on their Pangolin Voyager houseboat 2018 and it wasn't open then so I think around 2019 it was open so it is a relatively new and modern hotel staff are friendly uh, professional accommodating and I expect that from the Pangolin team um, you usually find when the staff are top-notch it comes from the top down and you know I've, I've known to an extent the owners of Pangolin in one way or another through their videos or meeting them in person and it's, it's expected and it's why Pangolin is such a, a popular company for people to use for their their tours or their trips in Botswana and other places in Africa uh, so inclusions uh, pretty much it's all inclusive here and remember they also have packages as well so you can book the hotel just stay here in Chobe book the hotel per night or you can use one of their photographic tours one of their photographic um, whether in Botswana or somewhere else um, some of those include that Pangolin Chobe houseboat so uh, if you're ever thinking about doing that I can certainly recommend the Pangolin Chobe houseboat as well if you're using going on one of their their tours um, yeah all inclusive so that is with it was laundry your two activities a day your three meals a day um, your alcohol including your sundowners in the evening uh, photographic equipment supplied here. Good photographic equipment is supplied by Penguin if you do not have your own and the majority of people. I bring my own. I've been doing wildlife photography for 10 years now. I bring my own but if you don't, don't fret at all. They will supply you with good gear. They will supply you with the memory cards and you'll be able to take memories of a lifetime home because they will give you those memory cards um, as you fill them up. Uh, you will always have a professional uh, pangolin uh, photographic guide with you and they are some of the best photographers in Africa. I've followed them for years on social media. I've seen work from all the top photographers in Africa and these guys are right up there with them and they will make it as simple as you like and if you want to get a little bit more complicated complex what they'll do is they won't make it intimidating for you um, so if you ever thought about getting into wildlife photography these guys will for want of a better word they'll handhold you through the experience um, so don't be intimidated most of the people on the boats were not for wildlife photographers uh, as a hobby and they were having an absolute ball. There was, yeah, parents with kids, you know, um, couples. The majority, I would say, had no real wildlife photographic experience at all. And, yeah, they're going to capture images that they couldn't get any other way if they are new to photography. You do not have to be a photographer. Um, you don't need to think about it just as being photographic even though they're called photographic safaris it is a safari destination uh, a safari company like any other safari company except for the photo specific so you can go out and safari with 
in any of the game reserves and they won't necessarily be talking about photography these guys will and yeah they'll be there for you every step of the way uh, lovely people so what else is there about pangolin they run a photographic competition every year um, and it's for amateurs and professionals so they don't mix them up if you're an amateur you're in the amateur competition um, they've been doing that since 2020 and the prize is incredibly generous so you never know honestly you could be right place right time and be new to photography and you can end up winning a prize because Chobi turns it on like very few places on the planet and with the help of the penguin photo safari hosts um, you just never know what you're going to get um, very generous prizes but they there is a, a an entry fee which was a great idea because the name pangolin is because of pangolins themselves now if you're not sure what a pangolin is a lot of people don't know what a pangolin is they're the most trafficked uh, wildlife animal in the world for the tragic unfortunate traditional medicine industry so animals have been killed in their millions um, for for traditional medicine purposes so the little entry fee nothing to do with pangolin themselves doesn't do anything uh, doesn't help them out financially at all totally goes towards pangolin uh, research a rehabilitation and rescue as I'm sure that some of your uh, your payment for your your stay with the pangolin uh, with pangolin themselves so really worthwhile cause and consider entering uh, entering the competition um, any little gripes get a little bit of gripe at the price point um, you, you can check out the price of the hotel if you're watching this you'll be able to jump on their website with the link I add if you haven't done so already uh, at the price point um, I don't know about wine because I wasn't drinking wine maybe they got a stellar wine list I don't know um, uh, well I had a couple of the local beers which are fine but the spirits are basic and I'm a whiskey blogger and know a bit about other spirits as well and it is basic spirits so I would like to see at the price point at least some mid-range spirits some single malts um, you know maybe a grey goose instead of a Smirnoff or you know what I mean you know uh, you know an Appleton estate instead of a Captain Morgan um, just at the price point I think that uh, there should be that that expectation at least uh, but that's just one small little thing that I'd like to mention um, but apart from that if you're looking for a really professional outfit um, really friendly team uh, it's a great reputation they're one of the few places that were practically full when we were there or as full as far as I know at the time um, with COVID still you know a lot of people leery about traveling that's the sort of reputation they have that people are prepared to come in and uh, and spend their their hard earned and and stay with uh, the pangolin group so i can highly recommend pangolin photo safaris uh, for your time in botswana I, I should mention again i didn't quite get into it but one of the things about chobi is the the behavior of elephants and in the river there's about 25 percent of the population of elephants in africa are in trabi area so they estimate around 100,000. um and there will be some people that go oh yeah we've seen that behavior uh, you know in other places but i can tell you the the level the consistency of crazy animal behavior when i do the video of uh, the follow-up video to this which will be our safari videos and and pictures of what goes on here the consistency the, the number of animals the or number of elephants the, the stuff that buffalo do uh, uh the, the the stuff that bu buffaloes do their their behavior as well and you'll see crocs birds all sorts of bits and pieces as well um you'll see you know kudu impala um all, all along the river's edge it's just it's the volume and they will get you so close as i said the look on the guest faces we we knew kind of what to expect but it still blows your mind when you see it you you know even with experience the novelty never wears off so it's like no other place in the world as far as i'm concerned especially for 
elephant sightings, elephant behaviour, crazy stuff that you probably will rarely see anywhere else. So, and yeah, just one of the most beautiful places on the planet. So, come on for an experience of a lifetime because I don't believe there's anything quite like it. It's a different experience to your normal uh, safari, especially when you're on the river. And it's perennial, so you don't need to worry about it going dry or anything like that. You know, seeing swimming elephants, you know, snorkels up, consistently playing, rumbling, throwing their trunks in the air, uh, rolling around. I've got ones of, I've got a shot of an elephant basically doing the backstroke um, when, when we've been here. So, and yeah, just when you're within feet of elephant, just doing incredible behavior um, on the river or in the in the reed beds or on the grasslands or on the islands that, that are, are in the river um, it absolutely blow your mind so definitely check out Chobi easy to get to Pangolin's a great team yeah come on over well I'm not there anymore but head on over highly recommend uh, I highly recommend it so if this has been helpful uh, do the old thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell thingy. Um, check out that next video. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I haven't gone back over. We've got some pretty cool footage of, of the Ellies and certainly some fantastic photos. I do bring my own gear and, you know, some of the stuff here. Just absolutely fantastic. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in the follow-up video. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like, subscribe and notification buttons, and thanks for watching.